Has your class ever made the teacher cry? What happened? In middle school science, I had a teacher who was always so sweet. She was an older woman, and she always made sure we had materials for her class, often at her own expense. I remember she went out and bought like 20 plastic pencil cases and filled them with pencils, rulers, erasers, everything we would need for the class. One day, some of the kids decided to throw a few of the pencil cases across the room. They snapped some of the rulers and just generally broke a lot of the things she provided for us while she stepped out for 5 minutes to talk to another teacher. When she came back, she started crying and I remember feeling so bad for her. She gave the class little pieces of candy after, apologizing for losing control and getting emotional. We were the ones who should have been apologetic. She was so sweet to us even though the class was full of demon children. I absolutely adore teachers who teach because they want to. She is a prime example. In 5th grade, we had a psychotic substitute teacher, probably in his late 50s. At the beginning of class, everyone was goofing off and he immediately shut us down by screaming shut up at us, shaking furiously. We all stayed silent after that because he legit freaked us out, but we came to the conclusion that he was hearing voices in his head, because about 20 minutes into class, he stopped talking abruptly, and screamed at us again at the top of his lungs that we would regret being so loud, but no one had uttered a freaking word. He then stomped over to the desk, violently swept everything off, muttering the entire time to himself, then went to the back of the room and turned all of the lights off. We were all terrified at this point. He silently paced around the back of the room for a while, then went back to the front and slapped the chalkboard. His next words were what I remember the most clearly. He was violently shaking as he yelled, I'm going to tell your teacher how horrible of a class you all are when she gets back, and I'll make sure she burns you up. To heck with all of you he threw himself back into the teacher's chair and started sobbing. One of my classmates managed to sneak out and get the principal. He was escorted from the classroom a few minutes later and we all had to individually go into the principal's office and recount what happened. Apparently he had just gotten a divorce and he had lost it. He was fired that same day. Honestly, I don't think we actually did anything to warrant his initial reaction. He just snapped. I feel bad for this teacher. He just had a hard time in his life. I'm the teacher who cried but I guess I can still share something lol. My class noticed one morning that I wasn't myself and one kid asked me during recess whether I was okay. Normally I wouldn't share about my personal life but I told my student that my grandma had passed away that morning. At the end of the day before I dismissed the class, the class committee handed me a sympathy card with really sweet condolence messages from every student in my class. I couldn't keep it in and started bawling. That's wholesome. I cried too. We need more wholesomeness here. Angry Tears. Had a history teacher one year, really good teacher. He had had a teenage son who had committed suicide, and after he took some time off, he came back to work. Standard class clown kid started acting up in his class. Teach asks him to go into the hallway so he can speak with him privately. We heard their exchange gets a little heated, but this kid just cranked it to 11 and insinuated Teach's kid was right to kill themselves with a father like him. Heard that kid bounce off some lockers about a second after. Teacher came back into the room with angry tears and told one of us to call the school resource officer. It became a big hullabaloo and teacher ended up suspended for the rest of the year. At the time I thought it was crazy he'd shove that kid like that. 15 years later in some real world experience, I'm surprised that's all he did. Insults aren't enough to describe how much of a douchebag that kid was. I'm a college teacher in the UK, absolutely love my job, love helping the kids I teach and love helping them reach their uni courses. Never really had many issues with most of my classes, but I had this one class that was real lazy, never did their work etc. They got a real crap result back one lesson, average mark was like 30%. I said something in passing and a student made a comment about how I shouldn't guilt trip them. I explained how I felt like I was working harder than they were and I felt like I cared more about their result than they did, despite they would be going to uni. At the time I was going through a breakup and was living in my car for a few days and I cried then in front of that class. Awful moment, professionally speaking. I'm so sorry to hear about that. This is a long one, but here goes. When I was about 14 stroke 15, 
My school had an awesome young science teacher, fresh out of university, eager to do well in his first job, passionate about his subject, and always staying late to help out the kids who needed the extra help. Unfortunately he was super timid and shy, and not very good at handling behavioral issues. Naturally the shittier kids, and even the ones you would expect better from, found it fun to completely take advantage of this, and it soon became a common game to just see who could do their best at making his life heck. I never saw him cry myself, but I did see him get pushed to his limits, and one day I heard he had a bit of a breakdown. I can't remember exactly what I was told happened. But he fled a classroom on the verge of tears and some of the other teachers needed to step in to get the class back under control. Anyway, one Monday we found out he had passed away the day before from an undetected heart problem. His father went to his house the previous Sunday morning when he didn't turn up for their golf session and found him dead in his bed. He was 24. Needless to say, all of the kids who tormented him felt absolutely awful about it. One girl in particular confided in me about how she felt so terrible. She knew he was a great teacher, but she joined in with the pack and now she had to live with knowing this young, kind of teacher died and all she had ever done was contribute to making his life difficult. A lesson for young Redditors. Treat your teachers well. They've dedicated themselves to giving you your education. Something many people in this world aren't lucky enough to have. They're people like you and me. People just trying to do their jobs well. My mother is an English teacher. And the stress kids put her under resulted in her mental and physical health declining to the point of needing to leave the job. Again, teachers are people. Mothers. Fathers. Sons. And daughters. Treat them like crap. And you will grow up to regret it. And you'll deserve every ounce of the guilt you feel. Comma a lesson for young Redditors. Treat your teachers well. They've dedicated themselves to giving you your education. Something many people in this world aren't lucky enough to have. They're people like you and me. People just trying to do their jobs well. Well said. I wish some of the students back in my middle school years read this. Our form tutor was a kindly middle aged Welsh gal. Pure as anything. Just happy to be doing her job. But teenagers being who they are. It made her a joke to men it. She announced to the class she'd be leaving at the end of the term or year etc. And they all cheered and whooped. She left the classroom in tears. Kids can be buttholes. I had a French teacher once. We were her first class since becoming a teacher. Lovely woman but many of us suspected she has mental health problems. Always very quiet and mousy and she always came in looking a bit messy i.e. Hair not brushed and makeup a bit smudged. There were these two girls who would just torment her. They had pickled muscles around the classroom and were just these loud obnoxious assholes. Long story short. Turns out the teacher's mum had just died and on top of the stress of managing a class with some real horrible kids she had a nervous breakdown and never came back. About two years later I was going to a concert and saw her begging for money outside a train station. Just felt so horrible seeing what she had been reduced to all because of some nasty fuckling kids that just pushed her and pushed her. This was just too heartbreaking. I really hope the teacher's doing fine. No one should deserve this. Yes, in year 5, 9, 10, we had this small, pretty cool teacher take over our class because our usual teacher was out doing something. One day, we would not shut up. Something happened that got us kids all excited and I was just doodling. Looked up to see the teacher just run out the class in floods of tears. I then realized just how little attention the class was given her and how much they cared because it took several minutes for everyone to notice she was gone then went right back to talking. I felt really bad for that teacher because she was the only teacher in our year who got no respect from the students. It was the end of the day and a whole bunch of us 9 year olds were getting ready to go home when this kid who was always trying to make trouble started arguing with the teacher about the next day's homework and she made some comment about his mom and... Then he made a rude joke about the teacher's mom and she burst into tears and screamed her mom was dead. Then we sat in silence for like 5 minutes while the teacher cried. This hurt to read. I remember in high school getting a teacher fresh out of uni. He was the best, super passionate about teaching, and would often incorporate music and comedy into his teaching to make it more interesting. Almost everyone in the class loved him because of it. There were 3 footy players who would always play up in class though, and the teacher spent extra attention on them. 
trying to get them just as excited about learning as the rest of the class, but they were simply too cool to pay attention in class. One day they took it too far, I can't remember the exact details, but I do remember that one of the footy players threw a chair as a joke, either at another student, or at the teacher himself, and it just broke the poor guy. He lost his crap at the unruly students, and you could see the pure frustration in his face. He just wanted to teach, but these few students were hellbent on ruining it for everyone. He ended up just leaving the classroom in tears, and everyone in the class quickly turned against the kids who threw the chair. Most aspiring teachers don't realize that teaching is about 25% teaching and 75% behavioral management. Teacher here. I was witness to the death of one of my former students, pedestrian hit by a car right outside my apartment. This was pretty common knowledge to my students, and during a Kahoot game one of them put her name as their nickname. Couldn't help tearing up, and I let the waterworks start during my prep period. What in butthole, sorry to hear about that. Multiple times, we were a terrible class. She was our 6th grade teacher. Our school had this odd system where you had a homeroom teacher for most of the day, but then rotated around to other teachers for just a few classes. Our homeroom teacher was also the music teacher, and for some reason during music class all heck would break loose. She went on vacation for a week and came back with a bad sunburn around the eyes, so we would only call her Mrs. Raccoon. It caused her to get more tanning done. During one music class she really had to go to the washroom, so she left for about 4 seconds and a fight broke out between a boy and a girl. The girl took the boy's head and threw it through a snare drum. He got stuck in there. She came back to thinking he was dead. Eventually she had a mental breakdown mid-class and ran out into the hallway crying. The 7th grade teacher saw this and instead of consoling her walked in and just let us have it. I'll never forget that day, he said we were spoiled as shats for treating a teacher who only ever wanted to help us like trash. He screamed that if he had a teacher like her when he was a kid he would do everything he could to keep her. Yelled that if we kept acting this way we were in for a life of disappointment brought on by our own rampant incompetence. It worked. Some of us cried, but everyone felt horrible and we were all nice to her for the remaining year. That's really sweet that he defended her like that and made you guys change your behavior. We had a substitute once, and one of the football jocks went behind her and pretended to hump her. She glared back at him and began bawling. Poor lady. What an idiot. It wasn't my class but my twin brother's class when we were in grade 7. We went to a public school, which was full of delinquents, but his class was especially bad. They had a substitute teacher take over one of their classes for about a month, and one of the kids thought it would be hilarious if he pretended to be severely intellectually disabled. Looking back on it now it was horrible, but at the time everyone thought it was hilarious. He would moan words, throw books, water, spit on the floor and dribble. The class played along with it but they would all howl with laughter at him. The substitute kept saying things like he can't control it, stop bullying him. It got to a point where he was being especially bad with his disability and everyone in class kept laughing. She ended up crying in the middle of class and later quit after she found out he had been pretending the entire time. The whole class knew our teacher loves us so much. On her birthday, we decided to surprise her once she enters the classroom after the flag ceremony. We divided into two groups. Some of us are together with the teacher during flag ceremony and some are waiting for the flag ceremony to end and are trying to hide in certain places in the classroom. The teacher had no clue of what was actually happening and when she arrived together with some of our classmates, we started singing happy birthday to her. She was so shocked you can clearly see her trying to hold her tears. It was the class most successful birthday surprise. I wish I could tell my former teachers how much some of them meant to me. There weren't many that truly affected me, but the ones that did I still look back on fondly. In 5th grade, my class was always extremely nasty to every substitute teacher that came in. They'd act out, doing and saying stupid crap, and though we never actually saw any of them cry, our regular teacher told us on multiple occasions that we'd left the substitute in tears after class was done. I hated every time there was a substitute because it would always become a shit chow. Also in middle school we had a teacher that started out extremely chill. She said she didn't believe in yelling at students, 
Unfortunately though, a lot of the same little shoots from my 5th grade class were in this class too. Plus new ones. I don't remember what the cause was exactly but one day she just snapped and screamed at us for a good 10 minutes. She definitely believed in yelling at students after that. It's one of the few things from middle school I remember clear as day. Well I think it was crappy to share the info about the tears to the class. If I subbed a class and found out the regular teacher had shared it personal info, I'd be really pee. Her breath stunk from meters away. We anonymously left a bottle of Listerine on her desk. We thought we were being kind. She thought it was a horrible prank. These days I can see her point. At least you didn't put a pack of 5 gum on the desk. No but once in chemistry class the teacher coach Bert stopped writing on the board looked straight ahead and mumbled I could probably blow my brains all over this chalkboard and y'all wouldn't even notice the only people that heard him were me and the girl I was talking to. I responded coach I think that's a dry erase board nobody uses chalk anymore. And he laughed which made me feel slightly less concerned. And he laughed which made me feel slightly less concerned. Now that was the reaction you were looking for. When I was in HS we were misbehaving as a whole group, just making noise and not listening and messing around and finding just about everything that was happening far too funny, nothing too major. A few of us got sent out to stand in the corridor until she got a handle on things. When she came out to speak to us, one dude was leaning up against the doorframe with his hand, and upon realizing we couldn't contain our laughter at this point, she decided to leave us out there and stormed back into the class slamming the door it was at this point the dude screamed with the force of a thousand suns i hadn't heard anything quite like it teacher comes back out instantly steam bellowing out of her ears ready to completely destroy our childhoods she turned to the kid and noticed the end of his finger hanging off instantly realizing she'd shut it in the door her mood changed just as quickly and she just broke down into tears I would have felt bad but it just topped off the list of things I shouldn't have been laughing at already. 7th grade English we were still breaking down parts of speech. Our teacher, let's call her Mrs. T, was trying extra hard to be happy and get our attention and asked one of the worst behaved kids for an example of a sentence so we could break it down as a class. He waited till the room was silent, looked her dead in the eyes and said Mrs. T is a bad teacher, she put it up on the board and broke it down through tears. Still makes me mad over 15 years later. This is how you create a super villain teacher. Not the class but actually just me specifically. I had just graduated high school a few months ago and I was going to visit the school to see my favorite teacher during the following fall. Pretty customary for graduates to do. They start college in the fall then when they come back home for Thanksgiving break they go to the high school and walk around to reconnect with their teachers. The thing was, I wasn't home on break from college. I was home because I had gotten diagnosed with cancer when I was about to start college. So when I went to visit I was bald and had lost a good amount of weight, though I was feeling pretty good at that point. When I stepped in the doorway of his classroom, he was teaching a class, but was the end of the period so he was just wrapping things up. When he saw me there he took a second to register that it was me, he immediately quieted and started tearing up. He stopped talking to the class and excused himself then walked away and took a minute to gather himself. I had no idea I would impact someone like that. My heart dropped. He could hardly look at me, not in a disgusted way or anything just in pure shock and grief. Eventually I talked to him and explained how everything was going well and I was going to be okay, but his eyes never stopped tearing and looked glazed over. A couple days later he emailed me saying he was so happy to see me and that he was sorry he was so shaken and he wanted to hear updates from me. Really crazy time. TLDR. Visited teacher after I graduated, was much bolder and skinnier than he remembered BC I was going through chemo and I caught him very off guard. Hey, no one else has yet but I just wanted to ask how you're feeling nowadays. I watched my mom go through that and the looks from people we knew were always the same. I hope you're staying happy and healthy my friend. It was middle school band. About 70 kids with instruments. And about half of those kids would not stop playing them super obnoxiously. Props to the teacher for keeping it together as long as she did though. Teacher posted pictures of her old cocker spaniel everywhere. Well eventually it got sick and died. 
She took a few days off and was devastated. Class worked with the school and each other to pull the funds to get her a new puppy cocker spaniel. We presented it to her when she returned and she was so happy she cried. That is so cute. Someone made the math teacher cry by saying math is the devil. Her license plate was math and so you know she was serious about it. Man so much character development in such a short comment. All boys school. Young. Pretty female teacher. One of the boys belched loudly. She said that's disgusting. He replied bend over and I'll show you disgusting. She cried. He got suspended. But should have been expelled. The amount of stories I've seen here where students thought it was okay to sexually harass teachers is really concerning. It was the last history lesson before the exams began and before we all graduated. We had pulled some money together for a gift basket for our history teacher, with some coca cola, because we knew he was a bit of a coca cola addict, and some candy, cookies or something like that. I can't remember, honestly. It's been about 9 years since I graduated after all. He was very touched, kept saying thank you while sounding like he was holding back tears. It was a bit weird, in a good way, to see this otherwise kinda strict teacher being emotional. I don't think he expected it at all. I thought some butthole would destroy it. For some reason she brought spoons she got on her wedding day and passed them around. Someone bent the spoons so she had a breakdown. Third year science class. We were aged around 13, and the school bad girl starts a full on hair pulling. Rolling around on the floor fight with a stand-in teacher we'd never met before. Both the girl and the teacher were dragged out crying. We never saw either in school again. F you Deborah for probably ruining that young teacher's career. I don't know how it is in other countries. But in Germany we have a day where we go to some destination for a day of fun. Anyways the class wanted to go to the zoo and the teacher was really invested in a trip to museum that had an exhibition about meteorites. Dang interesting for a bunch of middle school students, and she cried when we told her we didn't want to go. So we then went there to make her happy. AWW we never got to do anything fun. Somehow my class always got stuck with the M1 dirtag word you and at teachers. Yet our form tutor was missing him. She taught us for 2 years and the day we left her group she broke down in tears. It was really sad. She was a fantastic teacher. This still makes me rage. 9th grade history teacher. Never had him myself but a bunch of friends did. Was a good guy but his wife gave birth to triplets over summer break and his stress level and sleep deprivation was obvious even to a lot of us kids. One day a group of shithead popular girls called the school pretending to be his wife and said there had been a car accident involving his newborns. His classroom was next to mine at the time so he came in, in a panic to ask my teacher to watch his class before literally sprinting down the hall. IDK what happened but he never came back. Those kids broke him. That's really fricked. Yes, a class full of rowdy, obnoxious kids that wouldn't listen. Teacher wasn't slender and the class would always make snide underlying comments about it. She reached her breaking point one day and started slamming a book on a rowdy student's desk screaming get the frick out of my class over and over. It was quite sad. It was her first year teaching and I think the pressure got to her. I remember on my last day in English class in 5th grade our teacher cried because we were so awesome and she was going to miss us. Apparently she did this every year but it was kind of sweet lol. AWW this is actually really cute. Here's a sorta wholesome one, I think. My friend and I went AWOL for two days to fly to London for a concert of our then favorite band. I'm from Germany. The two of us were top of our English class. So our teacher mostly let it slide if we weren't on best behavior, we were just very very bored tbh. But, sure enough, the next week she called us up after class to ask why we hadn't been attending. Me, we were, uhh, sick, insert very bad fake cough. Thing is, we had sent her an anonymous postcard from London. The poor woman was fighting to keep a straight face so hard, she had literal tears in her eyes. Different times that I've seen a teacher cry. An English teacher of mine was having a talk with a kid from the class before mine. The kid was in butthole. They were still talking when the class started and my class was sitting there and waiting. When the teacher came in they were glassy eyed. They tried to start class but couldn't. 
They excuse themselves and we had a sub for 2 days. I have no idea what was said. A kid in my grade had an unknown heart condition and died during a basketball game. Lots of tears that night and the day after. I still tear up when I think about my Latin teacher talk about how parents shouldn't bury their kids. The kids bury their parents while failing to hold back tears. I have seen elementary school teachers tear up at the end of every year. It is so sweet their love and dedication to the kids. I don't know the story behind it but there was a little dedication to someone before a homecoming football game and someone came to sing the national anthem. The singer was rather good and brought the teacher I was sitting close to to tears. It wasn't a teacher that I had but they were really nice and I like talking to them about comics. I assumed that it was for a past student of theirs that they had fond memories of. A friend of mine died drinking and driving sophomore year. Same Latin teacher as above was so angry and disappointed that my friend wasted so much potential that he yelled at the whole class when we found out. He then proceeded to apologize for the outburst and sat there, talked to us and cried. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.